so I recently modified my uh, Game Boy Color. Uh, it's got a Q5 IPS kit, um, not the laminated version, because I like the on-screen display, also known as the OSD. As you can see, I've got my uh, knockoff EverDrive cart. Uh, anyways, you, you can see it's working perfectly fine. Uh, everything looks good. Um, I wish it had the black lens. This is a glass lens. Um, but they, did, they didn't have this because I paid 56 for the cut shell and the uh, backlight kit. $56, and it was off of AliExpress. Took like two months to get here, but that was a lot cheaper than all the other companies like Funny Playing and Retro Handheld and all those people wanted. Um, but when I put the Q5 uh, LCD in, it had a bunch of, I, I don't know if they were dead pixels or damaged crystals, but it was all bad right through there and it all what you could see like on the game was just a tiny line like maybe one or two pixels were messed up uh, with what was being displayed but since the entire screen is lit up you could see all the damaged crystals down here if you like looked in so I don't know if that was me installing it or that's how they sent me the display but um, I saw that uh, I can't remember what website it was but they wanted twenty dollars for a replacement just the replacement LCD, and I want you to do that. So I actually paid for a replacement one off of AliExpress that was made for the Game Boy, and because I know that these are displays from a BlackBerry Q5, I said, well, while the uh, display is coming in from China in the next two years, uh, I'll buy a, a BlackBerry Q5 replacement screen, and... Uh, see if I can use the LCD out of one of these, since this, this, the kits use a BlackBerry Q5 screen. Um, because I wasn't sure if the touch, uh, touch screen was laminated or anything like that. So this was a real, this was a real trial. Um, and the reason I'm making this video is because I couldn't find anywhere on the internet that talked about, uh, using, the uh, replacement Q5 to use as a replacement for your um, Game Boy because on the websites a straight up Game Boy Color Q5 LCD replacement just for the panel uh, I think on retro handheld it was fifteen or it was $12 but they were out of stock and the next cheapest was $20 and so for a replacement screen for a Blackberry it was $10 so I was like, you know what, I'll give it a shot. And sure enough, all you have to do is pry off these four little uh, st st screw, uh, standoff screws, whatever you want to call them. And then you pull this little black thing out. And then underneath is the, uh, is the um, what do you call it, the display with the proper ribbon cable. I didn't, I literally had to do no modification. I took my, my Game Boy apart, took out the old screen, t did what I just showed you there, and you kind of got to flex the uh, plastic a little, like, diagonally, like, kind of like, see, like, how I'm doing like that to get it to come out. But, yeah, uh, it's not glued in there or anything. You can literally just do what I was showing you, and it pops right out. I took it out, popped it into my Game Boy, Looks great. Took the old one, popped it into here because it's still good and, um, you know, I might need to keep it as a replacement. But yeah, if you were wondering if you can use a replacement BlackBerry Q5 screen, at the one I bought also came with the backing for whatever reason. I don't know. These look like these would have been pretty neat phones. But anyways, yes, you're, if you want to replace your Game Boy uh, display with a BlackBerry Q5 display, um, it is totally possible. All you have to do is just go onto eBay and type in BlackBerry Q5 LCD replacement. And you buy that and you take this, like I said, you bend these four standoffs off, take out the display, and then you pop it into your Game Boy. So yeah, this was the first, uh, what do you call it, console I ever modded. So that's why 
I think it it may have been me who messed up the screen. I don't know. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with. I'm actually really happy with the way it looks. Uh, I don't know if I need to adjust the horizontal or not. But yeah, you press select both buttons, and that gets you to your OSD. Yeah, I kind of need to adjust the. Okay, and then you hit select an A to select uh, a setting. And then you can press A or B to move the... Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, that's about perfect. And then you press select A to get out of that setting and save the setting. And then you press select B to, to get rid of the menu. But the menu is pretty cool because you can adjust the brightness. You can adjust how the screen is positioned onto it. You can do pixel effect. I don't like pixel effect. But some may. See, it basically makes it look like it's old school, the original display. Um, but I don't like that. I like the higher resolution. And then it's got battery dis uh, display, which I did not uh, wire up. Um, hello? Oh, yeah. And it's got color adjustment, and you can factory reset. So yeah, that's my, I don't know, I don't know, this isn't the funny playing kit or whatever. I think uh, Mako calls it the one chip. I don't know, because I just bought it off of AliExpress because it's much cheaper than all the game companies wanted for, for not only the shell. I think the shell and the kit cost less than what uh, the funny playing, just the backlight kit cost. So, and then you buy one of the AliExpress $25 Everdrive clones, um, and then you pop it into this booger, and you play all your games that you played as a kid. Uh, this this Everdrive is awesome. I'm really or Everdrive clone. It's called the EDGB. Um, if anybody has any questions about that, I might make a video on it because I had a lot of questions that I could not find the answers to. Um, it's not an Everdrive, even though it says Everdrive, Everdrive, Everdrive. It's a it is a knockoff. It's like, a, I think it's a knockoff of an old X5. Um, so yeah, that's, there's your question. If you want to replace your Q5 kit with uh, the Q, the LCD out of a BlackBerry Q5, you absolutely can. So yeah.